Well, hi again. Welcome back. This is Kim. Today I'm going to tell you a little bit about some Windows 10 tips and tricks and some settings. So, let's start off with some sleep settings. This is something that I'm asked about all the time. So, this must be something that people really don't know that they can change. It's very easy. So down here on your search bar, just type in sleep and you'll get this power and sleep settings right here. Okay, so then this box will come up, this window. You can pick when you want your screen to turn off. So if you're on a laptop and you're worried about the battery going out, you know, you might want to set it, you know, at a five or ten minutes. But if it's a desktop and uh, you're, it's in your house and you're going to be wandering around doing laundry and doing the dishes and blah 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 and you don't want it to go to sleep you can make it longer. 10 minutes is usually good for most people. Now sleep, that's a different story. So this is just the screen going black but this is actually putting your computer to sleep. Uh, several computers, different uh, manufacturers, you have to press the power button to wake it up some of them you have to shake the mouse, some you can hit the space bar. Um, it's kind of annoying when your computer goes to sleep. I personally put never. I don't want it to go to sleep. I will lock it when I go away from the computer and I turn it off at the end of the day. But um, you can pick whatever is comfortable for you. 30 minutes is uh, the default and that means 30 minutes of no activity. If you're watching a video, sometimes it will go to sleep. So if you watch videos on your computer, make sure this is at least long enough for the computer to, for you to finish the movie. So, you know, maybe three hours or something to make sure it doesn't go to sleep while you're in the middle of, you know, streaming something. Also, um, you don't want it too short, but you also, just think about how you use your computer. Like I said, I, I hit the Windows key and the L when I step away from my desk, so that locks it, so it's at a lock screen. Um, so the computer doesn't need to actually go to sleep. I don't know. It's up to you, but this is where the setting is. Then you can also go over here to additional power settings. This is the old Windows 7 style. So you can do power saver, you can have balanced, you can change all the settings within this. You can create a power plan, you can choose what the power buttons do. I wouldn't mess with any of this. I just wanted to show you that it was here. Okay, so that's that. Next thing I wanted to show you is the action center. This is what um, when you get the notifications that pop up right down in here, this is where they live. This is where your notifications are. This, they'll scroll off. So if you have a bunch, the newest ones will show and you'll have older ones. This is telling me that Adobe Photoshop Express was just installed. I don't really care. I don't need to know that. So I'm just going to close it. Well, I should have shown you, but there was a way to clear all the notifications. The, um, it'll tell you if something was installed, if you're having a problem, if your uh, virus needs virus scanner needs to be updated. Um, you'll get all sorts of notifications in here. So this is where they live. And you'll notice in here is Nightlight. This is a cool built-in feature. Um, if you click on it, I don't know if you can see my screen if it fades or not, but it, it reduces some of the blue light, so it's really good for your eyes. It will, um, they say the blue light help, will keep you awake at night, and I don't know if you can, like I said, I'm not sure if you can see this or not, but it's much easier on the eyes. It's not as jarring, um, but you can turn that on or off here. You can also go into the settings to schedule it to turn on by itself. So if you go back over here to your search bar, 
um, just type in uh, nightlight and then system settings will come up. So here you can change the strength. You can turn it on now. You can schedule it. So if I schedule it, I can pick what time I want to turn it on. 9, 9 o'clock every night, turn it off at 7 a.m., whatever. So that's kind of nice. Um, yeah, so that's helpful. I, I like that a lot uh, if you're going to be using the computer at night. I think it's much, it feels much better on my eyes. Uh, so, yeah. So that's that. So in here is some other things that you probably don't need. Here's a screen snip, connect, project, VPN. Uh, I don't go in here much. I just wanted to show you what was in here. Here you can manage your notifications. So you can turn notifications off and then you won't get them anymore which is probably a good idea, but uh, if you like the notifications, leave it on. So I wanted to show you also this secret menu. It's not really secret. secret. I, I, um, it's more of a hidden menu, but it's not very obvious and I found it by accident. So if you click on this little, the start button, this little hash mark right here, Little number sign. If you click on that, it gives you the alphabet so you can find your programs. So if I want to look for Word, I go to W and that just brings it right to the W. So anyways, that's it's this little tiny thing right here. <laughs> I clicked on it by accident and I think it's pretty cool. So you click this to get the alphabet and when you're done with it, you just click this little clock looking thing and it takes you back. So if you accidentally click on it and you really would rather scroll then just click the little clock. Okay, one other thing that's really cool. So let's open, it's opening on my other screen, sorry I have two monitors here. Let's do, I'm just going to open a few um, windows here. Uh, so a couple more. Let's do um, I just want to have a couple things open just so you can uh, did, did I just not sure why that okay there we go. Let's have one more window open. Let's go to, um, I have no idea. Why can't I think of a website? <laughs> ESPN. Okay. So this is pretty cool. So you have all these windows and it gets kind of cluttered. So you just go to the top here of this little, the, where there's no uh, tab or anything and you just shake it it gets rid of everything else on your screen, so then it's just this one. If you want to bring them all back, you grab this again, shake it, and they all come back. So then it's kind of fun. It's just a useless little thing, but I think it's cute. Um, another one thing I wanted to show you is the calendar. There's another cool thing that I just read about today on CNET. I'm not sure why I never knew about this, but uh, you double click on the, the time and date here and a little calendar pops up, which is actually really nice. I um, don't know why I never tried that before, but uh, I could see this as being very useful. You can um, add an event. Uh, so I'm on the October 2nd there. Let's say it was payday. 7 to 8 and save. So anyways, there we go. So now we could have your little daily calendar, which is really handy. And it works really well. And, uh, yeah. Double, oops, just click one time, it goes back down. So then just double click to open it. So that's pretty neat. Um, 
think that's it for today. This was a just random mishmash of things, but uh, hopefully you learned something new and found something that you hadn't seen before and something that you'll want to use in the future. So thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. <laughs>